Swami Vishnu Devananda towards India to include Rishikesh Hari Om Tat Sat. But just make a few minutes of what it's exactly about, okay? Just give the mic to me. Okay, give it. Dr. Shivananda Adhiryo. It is here. Okay. Oh, perfect. Good. Uh, the diploma uh, reads, uh, We do hereby confer and bestow 
the honorary title of Fellow of the College of Human Sciences of Dr. Dr. Shivananda Asario in recognition and appreciation of an outstanding contribution to the cause of human psychophysical and psychospiritual awareness. And we hereby admit him to all the rights and privileges pertaining to professional membership in the International College and the company of its distinguished fellow. It was dated as of yesterday in the city of Montreal, Canada, and signed by the Dean of Arts and Sciences, uh, Dr. Peter de Copens, the Secretary of the International Council, Dr. Douglas Dean, who is with us, and myself, as well as Dr. Bernard Grad of McGill University, the Dean of the Research Faculty. And I'd like, at this time, the Secretary of the Council, Dr. Dean, to actually hand the certificate on our behalf to Dr. Asario. Rush reinforcement by foot. 
and uh, Beckham. Do you understand it happened in Bengal Street? <coughs> That's only 40 Mahatmas and 20 priests. This constant fight is going on there. I couldn't believe it. That's controversy. These Mahatmas are supposed to meditate. You think they are meditating? You know, what are they doing? They eat mandara, morning, evening, and then crossing. How many hours they can meditate? Just half an hour, one hour they meditate. The rest of the time they are not in their hands. So you don't think the people in the Mahatma, the Himalaya, they are all just meditating all the time. I live with these people, I know what they like. That's why Kurdhavi Shivananda never allowed his disciples just to go for a long time, for a short time, just go for a seclusion to pilgrimage and spend some month or two in. But if you spend too much time, your mind will go into thermatic state, inertia to be. Because there is nothing much to do. This Mahatma are allowed only one thing, to give, not that way, give them. They are found they understood in their life. Give, give to me, give to me. So they are saw the pandas, the priest also. A month or two months, six months I want to be everyone silent. I got nothing to do with the people, I went observe silence, I went away. Even there were two Mahatmas were jealous of me because I live in a cave and they tried to give me every type of problem. I got nothing to do with them. And they never gave me peace. And uh, I was almost starving, so I sent somebody to get some rations. That is about Uttaragaji. I am not just giving this comment to what I am trying to work. Uttaragaji, the last day there was no food available except the, those who are staying permanently, they get some ration. But others have, and there is nothing there in the Gangos available. So it takes about one week to go and one week to come. And uh, at last the man, after 15 days, he brought some ration so I can have something to survive for six months. And another Swami says, don't give, because he is a very important man. Just give to me. <laughs> Guru Dev, and other Swami. Guru Dev always emphasizes, engage your hand to the humanity and mind to the God. Karmayaga will purify. At that time, things will change. So the first impurity is Karmala. And that you can only remove through service of service. And the second Mala is operating with Shev called oscillation of the mind. Mind oscillates. Mind never steady. And to bring this mind under control is not easy. First you have to purify your mind through Karma Yoga. Then that purified mind that you learn to slowly to control. Not directly you cannot go to control the mind. And how? And they will cut this mind. It's like a monkey. And we have to and worship with mantra and chanting and pranayama. With that ability to, these two things will reduce the velocity of the oscillation of the body. If you know in, do we have this way of Arana? What is the way? That is very difficult to disassociate from this body, name and form and identify with the Atman. When, though I talk about philosophy, Vedanta, still I only know in my body and from a Vishnu. To forget this name and form and identify with that Supreme Self, which is, which is beyond the three bodies, and that is done traditionally called Who Am I Enquiry? By enquiry, Who Am I? Of a purification, Sarsrasabhi, body mind is purified. So pranayama and upasana mind is still more subtle and steady and then only enquiry thought. Now if you ask who am I, well you can say I am Satchidananda. Well, anyone can say I am Satchidananda. And next minute, someone did not give enough salt in the food, you curse him. That's all Satchidananda. We can talk of Pirmatmi. Oh, that's the word. So you realize that Satchidananda. Aham Pirmatmi. Yes. Remove these two parts impurity and then come and sit with the teacher, hear the word from him, Sattvamanti. Correct. Instruct the student, you want that, that's the heart. And suddenly, purified mind, just like a decay, what? A dry decay. One part is perfect, one small flame is perfect. The whole day, completely burns down. Same thing. At that time, the Guru instructs and initiates the student. 
ิตจะมันสามารถใจกลัวไหมอาจจะบอดี้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะอินเทลเล็กอาจจะเซนซ์อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไม่ได้อาจจะไ
it's a demonstration of asana. Almost all the people who are sitting here, excepting myself, they are all able to do asana to the best possible way. So I, it is possible that we may take about 15 minutes more. But please keep patient. You will see something very, very interesting. Thank you all. I request Swami to go ahead. ಸಚಿದಾನಂದಮೂರ್ತಿಂಜಾಯಂದಾಯಿ ನಮ ಸರ್ವಂಗಲಮಂಗಲ್ಯ ಶಿವೆ ಸರ್ವಾಥಸಾಧಿಗೆ ಶರಣ್ಯ ತ್ರಂಬಗೆ ಗೌರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತುದೆ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತುದೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಮೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೀನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟಟನ್ ದಿ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಇನ್ ದಂಡುಗಾಮ್ throughout Gujarat with Dr. Adderyu to Parthan and many other parts of Gujarat. It's a group of people to visit Gujarat and it's all planned by God and Guru Dev. This evening you all know by the time that I am on a tour all over India with the message of peace or the next alternate thing is it's not war destruction destruction of this planet earth we have at the end some color slides of this coming nuclear destruction this has been presented by great doctors from Megal University of Montreal especially prepared you will hear and see that very important plus there will be also color slides of Kirlian photography and many other psychic phenomena and with me there is a great psychic from Montreal he is a great disciple also Master Shivananda Marilyn Professor Rosner sit in the middle and uh, she will give a little psychic demonstration and explanation about this and then we also have John Rosner Professor sit next to me he is also not only professor of, uh, of a comparative religion in Concordia University in Montreal. He is a well-versed person in all religions and he teaches the comparative religion and also a great yogi. And uh, he will also give some information about the present subject, parapsychology, psychic phenomena, etc. So we have both. There will be visualization as well as theory by which we can understand what, if, what we are going and where we are going in coming days. As we all know that we got only few more years to reach 21st century. Just ask this question, put yourself in your mind, I'll take a little back to in time. In 19th century, aeroplane jet travel, nuclear bombs and all other things what we now consider is usual and normal were unknown. And let us assume that you have to go to a doctor in 19th century and get medical treatment and using his techniques and knowledge of 19th century compared to the techniques and knowledge of the 20th century by our famous doctor 
like cataract operations and all the things what you hear and learn know, know about it you will be shuddered to see what they knew what they did not know, know anything about the science what we know in 20th century they are completely blind they never knew that by pushing a button you can destroy this planet earth they never heard of that it's not even they could dream of not they could dream of a man will land in the moon and walk on the moon so compared to 19th century and 20th century so many changes had taken place same way our present civilization present technology science will be almost meaningless to 21st century people that means your children and great grandchildren they know more about the world more about the new technology like space travel space colony colonies under the water under the ocean cultivation of the ocean this become a common thing in the 21st century for us is far beyond our imagination to think of space colony space war etc so also their problem will increase and multiply alarmingly because we brought the technology to such an extent we moved the war from the planet earth to the space well we don't have much time to go into that but what exactly my purpose now is to warn you all that we do not have much time left you may not think in that way because you are living in rajkot remote part of india you think everything is going on all right you got a defense force you got a government this is what every country every nation people ordinary people are thinking okay we got air force and army and we got the prime minister elected prime ministers and ministers are there they will take care of everything but the problem is the coming tragedy is not what you can think of in any way through your ordinary brain some of the slides will show and also we have a film called day after which we don't have time but this film the culture itself will show you what exactly going to happen i had a vision in 1969 the wall of fire like a tidal wave pushing everything every country people are running from every direction to escape this wall of fire there is no pakistan or india border there's no border in austria or germany or england this border is become meaningless and survivors running in all directions to escape this great fire i could not understand why and what it was one of the most frightening vision it's not frightening from my point of view for me that's our but it's not no meaning to me both are the same if i live it's okay if i die it's okay but what i saw to the humanity what is going to happen i could not keep quiet since then i started my peace flight almost no by the time or the suez canal in belfast many other places recently or berlin wall to demonstrate either we are going to live together or they are all going to die together that's the exact situation we are but looking into that world present situation every day you can see in the newspaper problem in belfast problem in beirut problem in, in middle east problems in uh, as our time is limited we got so many others i want just to conclude just few more minutes sum sum up the whole subject are we going to live together removing this label and seeing one atman in all or would you like to destroy this planet earth means destruction means is complete even if there are survivors left scientists say there will be nuclear winter the sun will be blocked by the dust kicked up by this nuclear bomb that means how many bombs are there there are 
Now, about 20,000 nuclear warheads you can see there, both Americans and Russians have tried 20,000 nuclear warheads, which you, each warhead is 50 times bigger than Hiroshima Nagasaki bombs, which is brought in Japan. And America is, and Russia is making eight bombs a day. So yes, even now they have 40 times they can destroy this world, and still they want to continue to make nuclear bombs. And yet we think that we are fighting, Christians and Muslims and Hindus and Sikhs, we are fighting, saying, I am going to divide India into small parts. The very planet Earth must be united instead of dividing. But what we are trying to do is still we are trying to divide, like Sikhs want separation, um, Muslims want separation, and uh, South Indian Revenants want a separation. We are all trying to separate from what? When the nuclear missiles coming from the stratosphere. That's what I am here to remind you, to warn you all. Great masters like Shivananda came and taught us this unity, but we've forgotten this unity. We are here again, not to create communal hatred, we want the unity. I'll tell you with a small story. There was a shepherd colony lived in a valley, lots of sheep. And one day a mountain lioness came to hunt. And she was fully hunted. <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going
Gas will be 250 uh, square, uh, square meter. And uh, is it? how the electricity, how the electricity? This is uh, 20 feet uh, uh, in fact. I know, but the electricity, where the electricity is coming? From, from, the, from this. But, but where, how? It's by pipe. Oh, by this pipe. So that's a gas, that's a gas. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Only gas is white. But there's no electricity. No, sir. No, 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 yeah, it's matter log. It, it goes. You know, if you don't clean them regularly, it becomes matter. You see, it's called matter log. That's what the. You can make it today itself. That's the ripe one? No, no, no. Not ripe? No, no, no. Papaya, it's ripe. Three days, four days, four days,
giving a, that great knowledge to Uddhava and then Uddhava 
was very, very unhappy and very sorry to see the Lord Krishna is leaving. But Krishna said, do not worry, you go to Badrinath. So he sent the Himalayas to Dava to meditate. And then, according to the, our scriptures, there comes the great Geruda, we have a Vahana vehicle, and he departs the physical world to the Vaikuntha. Though he left the physical world, whoever repeat his name, whoever remembers his story, all will be protected by the Supreme Lord from the power of Kali. Kali age is so powerful, even yogis and swamis like us, we are bewildered, we are unable to progress much because of the effect of Kali age. The dark age, there is no dharma. And uh, so I went to Dwaraga and other places, Swaminath, and this place I did not visit. It took, I had to go to America and 30 times, and after 30 years only I am able to come here because karma shows that I had to bring you. You may be also belong to the Bharatavasa last life. And only with you I can come here. That's why. So it's not an accident that you're all here with me. I had to find you from different parts of the world. And just like Uddhava came here to see Lord Krishna at the last moment, so also you all had to come here to me. I am also without you, I am not allowed to come here. I went to Dwaraga, which is on the ocean, still a small portion of the original Dwaraga is there. That was created by Lord Krishna. He was in the Mathura near Delhi and um, Vrindavanam was all the middle of the India. And he transferred, he created the ocean, an island in the ocean and for Vishwagarma, the celestial divine engineer, he created a beautiful city and he transferred his entire city, all the people and all the cattle, everything, fingering in a pie into Daraga and he ruled from there. And Krishna said, before he departed, so within seven days Dwaraga will go underwater, so all everyone to run away from Dwaraga. And so they all migrated back, and that's the time Afghanistan, it was called Gandhara, which is not far away, other side, the Himalayas, we all came to Iran, other side of the Iran is the Pakistan, you see the Gandhara, Afghanistan. There was no Pakistan those days, no Iran, they were all part of India. And so many of the people left that direction. And the small portion of the Dwaraga is still there. When I went last time and I was a young Swami pilgrimage, wandering penniless. I came to the Shoti shore to get a lift by a ferry. And I didn't have a penny, they wouldn't give me, no one gave me a lift. So I sat and meditated on the bank. Just after some time, a Muslim came, he's a fisherman, he brought his boat and he gave me, a Muslim gave me a free lift to Dwaraga. And there I had two very beautiful experiences. One experience I could never forget. Dwaraga is a, it's a, it's like a, it does almost like a desert, it's only temple and there's not much to grow. There are few people, but because of the temple to just go off on. So I tried to myself and uh, I had another, another story with me and um, we both went in different directions to get our big shop food but there was nobody to give any food because they are all very poor there, I couldn't get anything. So I, in the temple they were giving food for 25 people but there are about more than 100 swamis there. So I had to stay in queue and there is no chance I can get, I am not. not uh, I may not at all even dream of getting a food on that day. So I came to the seashore after worshipping the temple. I want to come back to the mainland here. And um, naturally it was low tide. All the boats were on the shore, on the sand. And of course I'm not sure that who is going to give me another lift back to main, main, main mainland. So as I was just walking through the small Passed like that along the shore. Suddenly, a man, old man, came 
and he had a small pin and um, he took some date and peanut from that and he gave me, I had only a pair of clothes like that in my cloth, I put the date and peanuts. I was so hungry. I just walked only five minutes and I wanted to see who the man is. I turned back. There was nobody. He just disappeared. Thus, God comes in different ways. You may not even know when he comes. I was so sorry. Anyhow, I had not forget the taste of that peanut and the date. I could never forget in my life. And that the same day I was walking to the desert, there's a Radha temple somewhere in the middle of the island. It was very, very sunny and hot this summer time. And when we arrived there, we were all thirsty. Myself, so it's an abandoned island. Myself and Madhusudan, they, they could not, they are almost dehydrated and dying in the desert. And went to the temple, and uh, there's nothing else abandoned there. And I sent, at least let Madhusudan go to the ocean, it's about 15 minutes walk. Go and bring some salt water, at least let us drink some salt water. So thirsty, we are ready to drink salt water. We had a vessel, he, he took his vessel and went. After a few minutes, I just went and searched. There was a fallen house or collapsed uh, uh, structure, all pictures sort of broken, everything. So I just moved a little bit and I saw a small hole after removing all the things. I, said, I wasn't sure what it is. So I took a stone, thrown a stone and threw it into the, that hole. And there comes a sound click. So I knew there must be water. We always carry a small vessel and a small rope this type of emergency. So I, I wasn't sure that because it's very close to the ocean, so water will be saline or salty. So anyhow, I lifted the water, it was one of the most delicious water. No one could find it because it was almost covered by dirt and so forth. And again, God showed show me where the water was. And when Madhusudan came with the salt water, <laughs> I said, don't worry, no, we got the pure water. We drank and poured ourselves in the hot desert. By the time another sadhu, uh, mendicant, is coming, he's almost dying for crying, crying for water, water, water. So the desert he came. Don't worry, got plenty of water there. So we drank and uh, thus God saved our life from the hot, hottest desert in the most difficult way. So these are some of the experiences in my Parivaraja life, earlier days. I wandered around without touching a penny, only depending upon God's grace. And those days now, about 40, 50 years ago, it happened. Now I look back. Now I am coming in a double decker bus from London all the way to come here to visit Swaminath and not far away Dwaraga. We have gone to Dwaraga because limited time because we had to go across the ferry, etc. Dr. Adhuri did not arrange that Dwaraga trip. But anyhow, you came to Swaminath. Swaminath, one of the tour, Joseph Linga. The tour, the tour place, tour Linga. The same Jodi that came out of that earth and very powerful energy radiates. It's like a transmitter, continuously transmitting. And then um, we are also fortunate to get one. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, Chandrana. Shall I float Chandrana? Now, you can't take it. No, 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 no
ಶಿವೇ ಸರ್ವಾಧಸಾಧಿಗೆ 
ಶರಣ್ಯೇತ್ರಂ ಬಗೆ ಗೌರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇವಾ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇವಾ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮಹಾತ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ರೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಹೂ ಸಾ ಗಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಶೀಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಗುರು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ just give me a yoga life and he has written boldly than any other sage in the recent history until man realizes this oneness there will be nothing left for us to worship there will be no religion no human being here in his own words read that this is what he said in loud I respect saints and prophets of all religions. I respect saints and sages of all religions. I respect all religions. I, res- I respect all religions. All cults. All cults. All faiths. All faiths. And all creeds. All creeds. I serve all. I serve all. Love all. Love all. Mix with all. Mix with all. And see the Lord in all. And see the Lord in all. This, this is the teaching. what lord krishna said he practiced and he realized this oneness again different that so swami vishnu's body will change one day and will go back to earth to earth into ash to ash so all the your body but that immortal self shines so changes is inevitable that's what jagan mitya means it is not there it's a momentary we cannot catch this moment and hold that object in any state either your beauty your intellect you will develop muscles you have developed mind and inner strength this has to be practiced you cannot come by merely whenever you can find that's not we want full time workers so there will be a place for them to stay like this people they are not paid they have little boarding uh, room and board they get and simple food they get it and vegetarian and only two meals a day and they work completely for the this type of volunteers we have to create in our divine life society i, I call it shivananda yoga center because i want to put master's name then divine life people won't understand what divine life means so put shivananda yoga where in the center i want to spread this uh, sub yoga school everywhere in every towns and villages by year 1887 and anyone wants to give in every in their towns and villages lands and houses and so forth please write to us and i'll be in touch with you if you want more information please leave your name and address or write to trivandrum or canada om chandi if you come to america you can stay with us we got ashrams and everywhere we all the addresses are there you can write to us and you have family members there so shivananda family proud the world thank you all very much om namah shivaya now the next program is asana demonstration we'll have a 10 minutes fast demonstration and then a color slide that'll be our last conclusion Okay, get ready for the people. Now, the purpose of this asana demonstration is to prevent sickness. In India, thousands of years ago, they thought Pandya Vandanam stimulate your body and bring 400 muscles and 1,000 ligaments under control. With the pranayama, you get the maximum benefit uh, dedicated to the sun, the surya, the source of all energy for us. Okay, begin. One, two, three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> 